Hi guys, if you need to sit with God for a second, then this video is for you. Welcome back and my apologies for the bad lightning, it's super dark, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, today I want to talk a little bit more about anxiety because this morning I woke up and I felt such a pressure in my heart and in my root chakra and I was like but why like where is it coming from why do I wake up in the mornings and I feel anxious like crazy this is this is not normal I mean this for me feels so I don't know weird and just I don't know just not natural you know this is something else and I educated and learned a little bit more about anxiety and there are two different forms where it's coming from. One is from the cortex and one is from the amygdala. And if I understood that right, amygdala is activated when you get triggered, when it's like from a past experience. And currently in my life, I feel like so much is changing, so much is happening behind the curtains and not yet in my physical reality that I am triggered like crazy. I don't know. We don't know each other but i was literally a homeless traveler for two years which is insane and looking back on that time now with like a year and a half of distance is really i don't know if i have already processed everything probably not even a tiny bit but yeah i just feel that now since my life here in croatia in this place where i'm right now is coming to an end and something new is happening I feel how all these survival fears are returning to me. So although I am not in a place anymore where I don't know when money will come to me, where I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight, and sorry my eyes are somehow so watery. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not in this place anymore where I don't know where to sleep, where I don't know when the next time a payment is coming, and still I feel the same. I feel the same although my reality is so different and maybe that's why I get triggered so much right now so that I face it and work through it because I don't really know what will happen with my work soon I don't know where I will move soon I see some signs and they are a little conflicting because I am so grateful now that I have family here in Croatia and on the other side something inside of me is still telling me America you know, for example, yesterday, me and my husband went for a walk and I was, of course, like praying and everything. And then I saw a cafe and the cafe was called American Dream. And I was like, wow, why in the middle of Croatia is there a place called American Dream? <sighs> so, yeah, today I woke up, I told you I felt super anxious, I journaled and now I went for a walk. And I just had to sit with God for, for a moment, you know, because I know that when God promises something for you, it is done. It will happen. We don't know when, we don't know how, but it will happen. So, for example, also for me, when I started to, well, follow my calling, I didn't know how it will turn out. I didn't know when it eventually will turn out, but the only thing that I knew was do not worry it will work out and I'm like but how will I like make the money do not worry I will pay and he paid so God kept his word and now it's like you know I am like a seeker okay I seek truth I seek answers and the last couple of days I didn't really know what to do with my work because I'm doing a TV show and I'm raising the money for it attracting the funds and I'm like I have nothing to do right now and I'm not in this mindset anymore that when I have nothing to do that I need to force things to do that was how I was before I'm like I need to 333 three, three, as I say this right now a car just passed by mm. and um, yeah I'm not in a state anymore where I'm forcing but still of course as a human being we always feel a little uneasy when we don't know what to do because I wake up and I have this entire day and I'm like what am I doing like God guide me please tell me what to do and I don't know so I felt called to doing my birth chart I calculated everything and I was shocked because it was 100% accurate and I'm like okay at least it seems like I'm on the right path 
because I have five planets in my fifth house and the fifth house is all about creativity and self-expression and I was always like wondering why I'm so drawn to doing arts like why I'm so drawn to performing why am I so drawn to acting and writing but honestly I think I have and dancing I've tried so much I mean I danced ballet and I was in a circus and acting and modeling and writing and up until today it's still like acting is the most satisfying form of self-expression at least for me because it's physical mental emotional spiritually it's everything it literally challenges everything and i also redefined what acting actually means for me and then my husband he was like well maybe you need to go back to acting and i'm like but i really don't know how and if at all because obviously I also want a family and everything so I really don't know what to do and with a TV show for example um, I told you I'm currently raising the money 9 to 10 million depending if it's USD or Euro um, and I'm like I mean I'm the writer and showrunner and eventually I will direct and it seems aligned with me I'm looking forward to it but it's like but you know why am i saying but and i'm i'm just like constantly having these thoughts and i know i need to wait i know i need to be patient and stuff but i'm just like i'm a seeker i want answers i'm like tell me what to do clearly like i don't like to spend my days it feels like wasting time i'm like what am i doing like what is my life about and I get that waiting because everything is delayed manifestation but I also don't get it like it constantly feels like I'm doing something wrong and this anxiety is insane and also I must be honest I don't know why I'm drawn to the arts it seems like it's just meant to be somehow but I'm also so detached like I don't care like I feel these feelings like I'm trying and doing for years but now I'm like but I don't care, like, I have a life besides it, I built my family and everything, but it seems like I still care, you know, it's, I don't know, but it's also like, almost like I gave up the belief and the hope that it will work out for me. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair, that probably means I'm anxious, which I am, so I'm sorry. But yeah, it's just like I have so many questions and sometimes I'm going crazy in my head and I know I can give it all to God, I know all these things. But it's like we're still a human working through it and I'm, I'm listening to all these awakened people and they're always like give it to God, give it in his hands, then you have the inner peace and I know that but it's like the process does not look peaceful, you know what I mean? It's like... And then I sometimes feel like, oh, I'm not spiritual enough, I don't have faith enough, I don't believe enough. Because all those people who are sharing, they always are so calm and everything. But I wish I would see how they are in the states of working through it. I don't believe that people are calm there. And I hope that with my channel, I can create a community where we speak about those things. And like, just be honest and don't try to like showcase everything in the perfect light i mean i'm so sick of it and i feel like i want to like drop the mask after mask after mask after mask and just be free like i crave this freedom and i crave just to i don't know detach so that's what i'm doing i i try to detach and just breathe and be but also, I mean, I don't have friends here, I have my husband, but he's working a lot. So I am really spending a lot of time by myself and with God. And yeah, I don't know. On the other side, I, I tell you how I feel right now, what's going on. But on the other side, my quiet inner voice is telling me that a mega miracle is happening for me, that suddenly all at once, everything will work out, that the divine will pick me and place me where I'm meant to be and that I don't need to figure anything out and I really want to believe that so I will take my day to day to work on my faith to journal to read um, the holy word and to try to calm down to clean the house to cook just to like distract myself 
but also I want to sit with these feelings I mean it's just like I don't know like what do you do when you don't feel inspired when that makes you anxious and nervous and you don't know what to do you're in this waiting hole you're in hermit mode I don't know sometimes for me it's so confusing and weird to be a human and I don't really feel alone because I know that we're all going through it but it feels like we're all going through it behind the curtain and we always try to seem way more put together and accomplished than we all actually are which is kind of so annoying <laughs> sorry for the word but it's so annoying and I really try to catch myself when I'm this type of person I'm like but I don't want to spread these vibes out to the world anymore that everything is accomplished everything is perfect because that's not true and that's so much pressure and I mean yesterday I spoke about the example with the river and everything is flowing and we constantly remove the blockages and it really feels like this is life you know like will there ever be a point where we have figured out something no I don't think so because the second we have a new challenge comes and we have to figure it out but then when I look sometimes on other people's lives um, it seems like they have like a couple of years where there's literally no negativity happening or no challenge it's just like constant expansion and growth in the most positive way and everything is easy and simple and positive like no I don't know sudden death of a parent or something is coming that could completely swipe them off their feet and yeah I don't know I don't know in which season I am in I mean the energy is shifting and I just feel like I need to express myself I didn't act for one and a half years I mean I gave up or, or stopped auditioning a year ago and because I'm like but I don't want this anymore I don't want to audition for this 700,000 times like what is going on like no if this is for me then it will come back to me but differently like this feels wrong and now I don't know anything anymore I don't know if I am an actress, I don't know if not. Sometimes I feel like a fool. Sometimes I feel so fake. Sometimes I feel so, what am I doing with my life? Like, what is going on? How does it all make sense? Or is there no sense? Does life make sense? Does it not make sense? Like, what is this? Like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? So, <sighs> I'm really wild. And I think maybe I should just stop thinking for today at all. But on the other side, it's like, I know we should not put attention to all of our thoughts and feelings because everything gets triggered and um, activated by our mind but on the other side I mean don't we have all of this also for a reason like why would we otherwise have it is our only goal in life to overcome the mind or what like I don't get it so yes today I think I also have PMS <laughs> so I'm sorry but I feel I can't stand myself you know I can't stand my my myself and my feelings and I I don't know like I'm so grateful for my life and everything that I have and yet I don't know how to manage myself I gave it to God like literally this morning I'm like here I was closing my eyes and I was just imagining how we're sitting in the front of God and like giving my hand to him and just like please I can't anymore like help me I don't know what to do I don't know what's with my career like what am I doing like what am I doing like what do you want me to do I don't get it like I'm frustrated I'm not saying desperate like really desperate but frustrated like when when is it paying off what am I doing wrong how much more patient do I have to be and like but what is going on in general like what is my preparation for and stuff like that you know I just have all these questions <sighs> so yeah I'm sorry I really had to let it out because I can stand myself today and if you cannot stand yourself today and if you're like but why for what when what am I doing what is my life I feel you because I feel the same and this is not a video about complaining but it's a video about raising awareness that we all sometimes feel like that and I feel that you can feel really alone and like you are not allowed to 
have these moods and these states and to talk about it because then you're not spiritual then you don't have faith then you don't believe then you're not yogi enough then you're not calm enough but i mean so what like i feel like this is all of our goal right to become calm and present all the time and put together and successful detached from physical reality aligned with spirituality everything but honestly who feels like this 24 7 come on be honest no one i mean no one i cannot i don't believe that anyone feels like this 24 7 every week every day no so this is a video that just says this okay it's okay and maybe i'm telling this more to myself that it's okay or to calm myself down or to just let it out and give it a space to breathe but i don't know i'm so sick of these masks i'm so sick of our society and corporation and all this i don't know money rules the world and the stuff that comes to the surface now is just so disgusting and i'm like who are these people like what is going on what's our problem like what have we created and what are we following in it what are we putting our energy and attention to like this is insane like can we just stop it can we just break it down can we just build something new please you know it's too much it's i don't know i just don't get it and it drives me crazy and i hope some people can relate to it because it's just making me sick like to see what's going on i mean that was just some stuff the stuff i'm talking right now is this pdd stuff i mean probably i was curious about it or followed it a bit because well i was living in la and part of the entertainment industry where i always had a feeling that it's just insane but yeah i don't know it just needs to stop i mean okay probably that's why i was called to build sparrow to revolutionize this industry but I don't know when and sometimes this truth comes to the table on my stomach, literally. I, I get so, so freaking sick. I cannot eat, I cannot drink. It's just, I'm dying on the inside. And this cannot be it, guys. I mean, we just need to become aware and then all together as a collective stop putting our everything into stuff that is working against us, that's created by minds that mean no good for us, that yes me no good for us they just want to manipulate us and i mean i'm not even aware of how fast and deep that goes but i know i mean my feeling is telling me it's terrible and i always see the positive and focus on the positive to build the new okay sorry here's an airplane so maybe travel could be significant for some of us um yeah i don't know it's just today is a day where i have too much too many thoughts and enough of everything myself included and i just i don't know i want to see more change and find fulfillment in my career and not i don't know be surrounded by i don't know so much stuff that's just making sick and i mean Aren't we all trying to be the light we need to see in this world? Yes. Is it easy? No. Do we always accomplish it? No. Do we complain? Yes. It sucks. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, today I think in this state I should just not spread any of this energy to no one, nowhere and break the cycle and stay at home and work on my energy and yeah cleanse something like that i just i don't know i have enough today <laughs> so yes this is it the message of this video is let it out sometimes but let it out and not suppress it and it's okay like no one is perfect here and these whatever creations we see with our eyes which i don't know are just sick like because they are making us sick that's the thing like they're making our minds sick and i just have enough of it and i pray that we come together and crash the system and build something new and with crash the system i don't mean in a violent way i just mean like let's stop this like let's stop and let's start something new and build a new society and a new era for human beings yeah that's the message I love you guys and you're not alone if you feel how I feel today. 
I am curious to hear who you are. Let me know in the comments down below and see you soon.